subscribe the channel and press on the bell icon so that you will not miss any updates. Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy. Let's get started with the practical stuff now. Now when you talk about a programming language, it doesn't matter which language you're working on, maybe C, C++, Java or Python, you need to do one thing, you need to write a code. That's important, right? Now where do you write the code and how will you make it work? The answer is very simple actually. If you want to write a code now, you simply need to open an editor where you write code and we can use Notepad or Notepad++ or Atom or Sublime, doesn't matter which one you use. Let's open Notepad here and here you will write a code. Now I know we don't know how to write a Python code, that's completely fine. Now as we know Python can be used in different, you know, in different areas. One of them is scientific calculations. Now when it's a scientific calculation, it means you can also add two numbers. We have this huge range of areas where we can use it. We can use Python in machine learning, in AI, in software development, or we can use Python just to add two numbers. So we can say two plus three. I want to know this answer. But in Notepad, you will not get it, right? Of course, this is a Python code, trust me, this works in Python. But then two plus three will not work on Notepad. We need to make it run. As we know, Python is a interpreted language. You need to install a interpreter, which is a Python interpreter. Okay, we, do we have it? Let's verify. Do we have interpreter in Python uh, in Windows by default? So if I press the home icon here, if I will search for uh, Python. Okay, I do have a setup here, but then this is the installation which I have downloaded before. So in your machine, you will not be having this. Okay, so that's good. We don't have Python. Okay, assuming I'm, I'm using your machine. So what I will do is, I will inst we'll, let's install Python. So what I will do is, I will open my Chrome. So we are searching for Python download on Google and this is what you got. Which one to choose? Example, let's say if, if you don't know how to use, uh, if you if you don't know which website you want to go to, just go to Google and search for Python download and that's what you get, right? Now we can use other setups as well. We don't have to go to actually official website. You can go to file report to download and there are different resources available. But it's best to go for to official website, you know, to get, to make sure that you, the version which you're getting is correct. So we'll click here. The latest version is 3.7. Now you're lucky because this course started in July. The version came in June, I guess on June 27th, this version. So yes, you are, this is here. So it is June 27, which you got this version. So we will be using 3.7 here. And again, when you talk about new versions, you will get new features or maybe some old features which are deprecated will be removed. That's how it works, you know. So we'll go for this version, which is download Python 3.7. Let's click on this. Now it will get downloaded in some time. So we'll install this. Yeah, so there's one more thing, you know, when you talk about interpreter, you will get it. So you can run this code. So what we are expecting here is we want a Python interpreter, which will convert your code into a binary code. Now there's one more thing, you know, when you work on real softwares, of course, right, when you learn Python, you want to work on real softwares. In that scenario, your project will be complex, of course, right? You will not be adding two numbers. You will not be printing hello world and all those stuff. You will be doing something big. Maybe you want to build your own Facebook. You want to build a calculator. You want to build a, a chat application, maybe something big. In that scenario, you will be using something called IDE which stands for so IDE stands for integrated development environment what it means is so this is a place where you write your code this is this is where you will run it this is where you can debug it and that's very important you know there should be an option of debugging because in your project of course there will be a lot of bugs and you need to debug it so it will help you in different ways so it's better to use IDE when you work on a project so we need two things. One is interpreter and second is IDE. Which IDE we should be referring? So there are, there are various IDEs available in the market. Uh, one of my favorite is PyCharm. It's not that it is the best IDE available. It's just that uh, it is developed by JetBrains. Now JetBrains is, you know, is one of the best company who works on IDEs. Example for Java, we have uh, IntelliJ. Uh, for, for Python, we have PyCharm and it, it provides you amazing features. So we'll be using PyCharm here. Now, is it free? That's the question. Let's try. So in fact, we have a Python uh, downloaded here. Let's, let, let's click on that. Let's install Python first. Now you can see when I click on this, you will get normal installation options. This is what you're doing from your childhood, right? So click on this and I will say, yes, I want to install Python 3.7 here. It will take some time. Let's wait for it. So here we go. It says setup was successful. That's great. It should work now. I will click on close and I guess Python will work now, but how do you verify that? Now the way you can verify that is by going to your windows of course and saying, Hey, I want to use Python. Now you can see we got a Python 3.7 setup. 
So either we can go with this one or you already get an IDE called as IDLE where you can also write your code, right? So let me open Python 3.7 here and this is your basically a, a place where you can write a code. Now, normally when you talk about, you know, this is a, in Windows, we call it as a prompt. Uh, in uh, Linux, we call it as a, a shell. Here, what I will do is I will write a code just to verify if it is working because that's very important, right? So in the notepad, we already have a code, which is two plus three. Let's do that same thing. So we'll say two plus three. Uh, I hope it will work. I will say enter. Oh, it, it works. Can you see that? We got five. So that's great. We got the output. But then we also want an IDE. We will not be writing a code in the IDE in this video, but then let's install that IDE as well. Click type PyCharm and you can see it is it belongs to JetBrains. Uh, let's click on this one. Now, here's the thing. It has two versions. If you can see, well, so if I click on download, so you can see we have two versions here. One is professional version, second is community version. Professional version supports everything, you know, it's a Python IDE and it also supports web development. But that's not the case with community version. In community version, it will give you an IDE where you can type your Python code and some scientific development, but not web development. But if you want to use it, you need to pay some amount. Again, you can check it out. What's the pricing of it? Here we are to learn about Python. Let's click on download. Now this will download the, you know, the community version. So once you got the setup, just click on that and it will give you this prompt. Welcome to PyCharm Community Edition Setup. Let's click on next. It will ask you for the path. You can go for the default one and then click on next. Now it will give you an option of going for 32-bit launcher, 64-bit launcher. I will go for 64-bit launcher because the OS which I'm using is 64-bit. You can also have this application as the default setup for some types, some extension. You can see we have .py which is the extension for Python files. And then I will click on next. Uh, nothing specific here. Click on install and in some time it will get installed. So you can see we got this setup done and if I click on run again, we will not be writing a code here, but let's see how it looks like. So I would say do not import the setting, click on OK and it will ask you for the theme. OK, now some people are big fan of dark themes and some people are big fan of white theme. Now, as a developer, yes, we do prefer black because it, it eases your eyes, but as a content creator, white looks good in, in YouTube videos, you know, so <laughs> I will click this one and we'll say say next. Uh, I don't want any of these extra features as of now. I will click on start using PyCharm. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, the, the, this is awesome. This looks good. You can click on new project and you can name a project which you want. I would say my project. Click on create. Okay. Now every time you open this, it will give you this wonderful tips, but I don't need this. I will click on close. And this is where you can write your Python code now. Again, how to write it, how to get a file that we'll see later, you know, in, in the further tutorials. But this is how your PyCharm looks like. So the, you will be getting run option and all the stuff. Uh, in fact, debug option as well. So I hope you're excited for the further course. Let me know in the comment section. And if you have any problem in the installation, let me know. Or maybe some other members will help you in, in the comment section. So that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Click on the like button there. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.